26.63. And of course, how are we going to attend this? We need a strong political will, of course. We need also the role of the civil society and uh, the private sector in uh, uh, doing that. Uh, uh, we continue briefly with you. Uh, Mr. Patrick Popel, we are looking at ways on how Africa can become a producer of goods, which is imperative in uh, present uh, day uh, society. And Mr. Elijah Enoko has underlined the importance of multilateralism in seeing Africa uh, become uh, a game changer in every sphere, especially in the sphere of uh, economic. But then now we know that when when it, uh, a period comes like this, uh, there are usually some, uh, uh, let me say, shocks or uh, that can actually be felt by Africans themselves trying to move from one era uh, to the other. So the question which I will direct to you, uh, Mr. Patrick, is uh, uh, on this aspect of like what potential economic and social benefits can be expected if Africa uh, successfully transitions into a producer from a raw material to actually a raw material uh, uh, supplier. And another question uh, is how can Africa's international partners uh, that are actually technologically savvy. We know that we are already in the fourth industrial revolution and there is need for Africa uh, to gain, uh, there is need for this exchange of expertise to see uh, that it becomes a reality to see a production in Africa. There is need to boost the production uh, capacity of African countries. So in your perspective, what can be done and how, uh, what are the social and uh, maybe economic and social benefits of this transition? Yeah. First, you, first you must understand that the, uh, the, the, the wealthy uh, of a society comes from their business in every society. So when Africa goes the step from this um, uh, only um, raw material states to these industrial states, so the big benefit for everybody in the country, the first. Also about all situations in Africa, about reality, about the ethnic conflicts and something else. Also the ethnic conflicts are the result of the of the uh, economical problems first. So this is the starter for every ethnic conflict. You can see it in history. So then you have this uh, um, uh, next step of economical development. You have more security inside. You have uh, less problems uh, and you have a better social life. This is the first thing. Everybody can understand it. And uh, about the development, um, to grow up the industry, to grow up the business. So I think it needs only idea and very, very strong politicians. So, and also investments, yes, but I'm not an economist. Uh, I think important is the security situation, important is the ID 